Coming up, my top three from this video. Let's see where I rank them. Welcome to KDX Bricks Analytics, where I watch all the Lego investing and reselling videos so that you don't have to. So let's jump right into it. I just got in from playing some racquetball. That is such a good time. A lot of fun with my buddy from work and decided it was time to make the May 16th to May 31st, 2023 two week update video. And if you are new to my channel and unfamiliar with what I do with my videos, please check out my previous videos and it'll explain it in a little bit more detail. But generally during the last two week period, I watched 20 videos on YouTube about Lego investing and reselling. That was across 10 different channels and there were 140 Lego set mentions. For each of those 140 mentions, I put a zero, one, two or three enthusiasm score. And then, of course, I tabulated and summarized all the data, got some analytics on it, and going to share all that with you in this video. Surprise, surprise, first set on the list is the Ahsoka Tano Brickheads 40539. It got five more mentions, still with a very high enthusiasm score of 2.8. Such a great set. I'm a huge fan. Next up is the Battle of Endor Heroes, the Star Wars five pack Brickhead set. It got four more mentions with an enthusiasm score of 2.3. And I am very high on this set, assuming that it actually retires at the end of this year as Brick Fanatics is projecting at this point. If it does retire at the end of this year, I think it'll do really, really well. But the enthusiasm score is only a 2.3 because some people are hedging that it may not retire and actually get extended for at least another year. But a really, really good set. And if it does get extended, it'll still probably do pretty well, just a longer hold time. Next up is the Justifier 75323. And it got four more mentions with an enthusiasm score of 1.8. The mentions continue to be from the May the 4th week promos where this set was heavily discounted or came with five times extra VIP points and gift with purchases and all that kind of stuff. I don't like this ship at all. It's very gappy. It's pretty ugly to me. The minifigures, though, are really, really good. Three out of the five are exclusive, and the other two are only in one other set. Next up is 21326, the idea is Winnie the Pooh set. $100 set. It's going to retire at the end of this year. I love this set because the minifigures are all exclusive, and they look really good. And I also really like this set because it has a full build with a closed-up house and in Winnie the Pooh's Honey Tree, but also it can open up so you can see all the details. So it's a great set to play with, great set to see all the details, but it also looks great from all sides and all angles. Big, big fan of this set, should do very well. Three more mentions with an enthusiasm score of three. I totally agree. Another Star Wars set, 75336, the Inquisitor Transport Scythe. Three more mentions with an enthusiasm score of three. I'm a big, big fan of this set. $100 for 924 pieces and four exclusive minifigures that all look really, really good and the ship looks really good to me also even though it's all black i still think this ship is a standout and there's a lot of good interior space in this set also i think it's going to do very very well in retirement now on to 75342 the republic fighter tank many people have projected that this will be the highest return on investment for sets retiring at the end of this year it got three more mentions with enthusiasm score of three but because so many people have talked about it, some people have started to become a little hesitant saying hey if everybody else is investing in it, then maybe the secondary market's going to become saturated and not do that well i think that might just lead to a little extra hold time but i'm not letting that scare me at all it's a really well done set with a great build, great vehicle in the fighter tank, but also the six minifigures for the $40 price point. You get all this and it looks great. And of course, the four main minifigures are exclusive and the Mace Windu looks fantastic. Another Brickheads, the Disney 100th Celebration 40622, also projected to retire at the end of this year. Three more mentions with an enthusiasm score of 2.7. Another one that I'm very excited about. I think this one might take a little bit longer to get people to realize that they want this set, but I think that might might actually help in the long run because I think some people are a little cool on it right now because the characters maybe aren't the ones that would jump out at you in terms of you know the four classic Disney characters and so like I said I think that'll help because maybe some folks are not buying it that will regret it later and say hey you know what? I really should have got this set because it's a really good set therefore I am high on this set and wanting to get as many as I can and think it will do quite well 76989 the Horizon Forbidden West tall neck three more mentions with an enthusiasm score of 2.3 I agree I think this set will do very very well in retirement. 75292, the Razor Crest. This one is dividing the investing and reselling community. The minifigures are not exclusive other than the Grief Cargo minifigures. So that certainly is concerning some folks because the minifigures and the exclusive minifigures drive the secondary market price, especially for the Star Wars sets a lot of times. And this set has been out since 2020. So a very
very long shelf life, but this is the first time the Razor Crest has been made and the minifigure scale size. Typically the first time that a Star Wars ship is made, it becomes very, very popular for many years to come. But a lot of times the first ships that are made get tweaked because Lego didn't have access to all the exact source material and maybe the movie or show made some adjustments. There have been some times that the ship was not very accurate, but in this case, it is spot on and I think it'd be very difficult to do much better. You know, obviously the UCS is, but that's a much larger scale. And therefore, I think people are going to want this original Razor Crest more often than not. And it goes down in history because it blew up in the first season of one of the best miniseries in the Star Wars canon. So even though there are some concerns related to this set, I still think it'll do pretty well in retirement, but it will probably be a pretty long hold time. 75343, the Dark Trooper helmet. This is a Target exclusive. It got three more mentions with an enthusiasm score of two. Now the four Harry Potter house banners, they all came out in 2023. And as of now, they're projected to retire at the end of 2023. So very short shelf life. They each got two mentions with an enthusiasm score of three. And I think I agree. They're expensive at $35 each for somewhere between 250 and 300 pieces. But they have three minifigures. Two of the three minifigures are exclusive in each of them. And these are really nice because they can be displayed on a shelf in this opened up form, or they can also be folded up like on the cover of the box here, and they can be hung on the wall. And the collection itself is finite. It's going to be four total. We know that's what it's going to be. They all got released at the same time. And if they continue to have a short shelf life, I think they will do very, very well. So that's the Gryffindor house banner. Now's the Slytherin house banner. A lot of good detail. The Ravenclaw house banner, not as much good detail. I wish they covered up more of the anti-studs. And then this one looks great. The Hufflepuff house banner, very bright, really stands out from the colors and the color blocking used on this set. Big, big fan of this set in particular. Now on to a very new set that has not even come out yet. This is 76265 Batwing, Batman versus Joker. It is $38 for 357 pieces and two minifigures, of course, Batman and Joker. It is way too early to really know if this set is gonna do well in retirement because the shelf life will really drive this one in my opinion. Assuming that it's a reasonable shelf life, then I think this one will do very well in retirement. It's a smaller play scale Batwing and there's no other add-ons to pad the price. It's just very focused on the Batwing and it looks really good and the very large Batwing did very, very well. So I could see people wanting this set to play with. I can see people wanting this set for the minifigures and I can also see people wanting this set to complement the very large Batwing. Now on to our first modular building, 10278, the police station. We're getting three modular buildings retiring at the end of this year and a lot of people have said this one is the best of the three. I think primarily because it has the largest piece count and has the best price per piece. This one is good for me because the interior details are fantastic. The exterior is only so-so. 76408, 12 Grimald Place from Harry Potter. This set is $120 for 1,083 pieces, but most of the minifigure elements in these nine minifigures are exclusive and they look really good. The action feature to bring the grayed out building in the middle back and forth is really well done. And I think this set will do quite well in retirement. I think it's flying under the radar a little bit. It got two more mentions with an enthusiasm score of 2.5. Now on to our first controversial set. I've got, got all three of these in this video. 75369, the Boba Fett mech. Of course, this is a Star Wars mech that is not canon. It got two mentions with an enthusiasm score of 2.5. I like this set. I think for the $16, the 155 pieces, the really good minifigure with all that detail and arm printing and hip and toe and legs and chest and helmet printing. That minifigure is really, really good. One of the best minifigures across all of Lego ever produced, in my opinion, assuming that all the production works out and it looks like this image here. And I just don't mind Lego making these mechs, even though they're not part of the actual Star Wars universe. I think they look cool and I think that they could be very playable. And I think they actually will do quite well in retirement. I bet they're not going to be on the shelves very long, but a lot of people are going to shy away from them because they're going to say, eh, it's not real in terms of Star Wars. And I think they'll be disappointed they didn't get them someday. Also, because it's the first three of a new Star Wars, I guess, sub theme would be the best way to put it. And the first helmets that came out did very well. There's a lot of people expecting that the first set of dioramas are going to do really well. And I bet these do really well, too. Now on to 75300, the Imperial TIE Fighter. Two more mentions with enthusiasm score of two. Same thing with the UCS gunship, 75309. Luke Skywalker, Red Fire 
five helmet two more mentions enthusiasm score of two retiring at the end of this year expensive but a lot of people have been finding it for around fifty dollars or so fifty to fifty five dollars us and i think it's one of the better looking helmets in the lineup i think it will do quite well some people are shying away from it and so i think it's flying under the radar a little bit this brickheads 40547 this is a brick headset that looks like it's going to be on the shelves for a very very long time so it's not one that i'm interested in for investing and reselling 40619 even wally very cute little brick headset two more mentions e score of two and here is the darth vader mech 75368 of the three actually this one is my least favorite it looks a little puny compared to the other two and you know maybe it would have been best had lego not made a mech for darth vader i think darth vader stands alone whereas other characters kind of cool to have a mech this one just doesn't look that good to me the minifigure is good but this one 75370 the stormtrooper mech my opinion it's going to be the best of all of them because it looks very substantial very beefy in the arms and legs even in the waist area and chest area i could see a lot of people saying you know it'd be really fun to make a stormtrooper mech army and have some stormtrooper minifigure armies and some mech armies to back them up kind of like the cavalry and an infantry army and therefore i think this one will do pretty well in retirement but again it's so new we got to see what kind of buzz and how long it's going to be on the shelves for 75320 the snow trooper battle pack two more mentions with enthusiasm score of 1.5 retiring at the end of this year i think it looks really good but i agree that it's not one that we should be overly excited about for investing in reselling because people don't army build with snow troopers nearly as much another new batman set 76224 this one is 48 dollars it's got more pieces than recent batmobile play scale sets this one got two mentions with an enthusiasm score of 1.5 and i think it looks pretty good similar to the bat wing i think this one could complement some of the other sets 10266 the Ana the nasa apollo 11 lunar lander one more mention with an enthusiasm score of three okay that's good to see because i know previous mentions the enthusiasm score has not been too high and i think this one is a very very high probability winner one that i am very interested in 10293 santa's visit one more mention with enthusiasm score of three christmas sets typically do well and it's a hundred dollars for over 1400 pieces so very good price and the color looks fantastic 10497 the galaxy explorer hundred dollars for 1200 pieces retiring at the end of this year not one that i'm super excited about because it was designed to be a collectible so a lot of people have already over hoarded and it's been on sale a lot so unless you can get it on a steep discount i think you're starting from behind 21187 the minecraft red barn very expensive at a hundred dollars but you know some unique characters and animals not one that i'm particularly interested in but it got another mention 21325 the medieval blacksmith i think this is going to be the best performing set that is not a star wars set got another mention with an enthusiasm score of three four zero five six zero the professors of hogwarts if it retires at the end of this year it will have a year and a half shelf life a four pack with a lot of great detail and personality and characteristics i'm a big big fan of this set one more mention another mention for this set seven five three two six boba fett's throne rune the mention was an enthusiasm score of three which i'm very surprised by because this set is very very expensive but i love it the build is great the minifigures are great five or six of them are unique most of the minifigure elements are unique the throne itself is really well designed and other than the price so therefore you need just need to get a very very steep discount then i think it'll be a great set but i think that it's going to be hard to make this one perform well in retirement because of the likely price that you'll be starting at if you have not already picked these sets up 75333 obi-wan kenobi's jedi starfighter all these many figures are exclusive and they look really really good there's a little r4 always bumbling around but tan Wee is fantastic in this set i think this set will do very well another mention ambush on ferrick 75338 70 dollars for this set tiny little set but three exclusive minifigures that look fantastic and i actually just rewatched this episode of endor it's a really good episode i like how all that plays out the ship is not the best looking but it's very representative of the scene in the show and i think this one is flying on the radar because of the price but when you have the three exclusive minifigures i think a lot of people will wish they had got this set and i think it'll do well in retirement one more mention for the death star trash compactor 75339 i've talked about this one a lot in the past and i'm going to talk about it in an upcoming haul video here pretty soon 76255 the new guardian ship this one got a mention with an enthusiasm score of three it's a hundred dollars it looks expensive because it doesn't look like it's that substantial but it is over 1100 pieces and it has five minifigures i think four of them are unique that's what brick set says here and the minifigures are really fantastic looking a lot of great detail like adam warlock that 
looks amazing. Mantis, I love the headpiece there. And Drax looks really good. But the reason that people are excited about this set is because it came out in 2023. And if it stays on the retirement list, it'll be a very, very short shelf life for a Marvel set with some pretty good minifigures in it. 76386, Hogwarts Polyjuice Potion Mistake. Good to see this set getting another mention. I think people cooled off because it's been readily available almost everywhere for $16. But it's a lot for the $16 or $20 price point. All four minifigures are exclusive and it comes with that all important golden Harry Potter minifigure. I think it'll do well. It's expected to retire at the end of this year. One more mention with enthusiasm score of three. 76403, the Ministry of Magic. Okay, so if this set does well in retirement, it's flying under the radar because it just doesn't look that great. It looks a little disjointed and it looks like it potentially could be flimsy. I'm sure it's not, but it just doesn't look that appealing. But of the 10 minifigures, eight or nine of them, and most of the minifigure elements are exclusive. Transparent bluish cat piece is really good the golden dumbledore minifigure is really good therefore i think this set could be missed by some people and if it retires the end of this year it will only have a year and a half shelf life so i think there's some potential with this set a speed champion set 76910 this set is really good it got another mention with enthusiasm score of three and the next speed champion set is my favorite that is retiring the end of this year the james bond set 76911 007 aston martin db5 really good set and it comes with a daniel craig minifig you can't go wrong with that and same thing with this set 76912 the fast and furious dom's charger other than this set just being blocky as is the case with most of lego's speed champions chargers and they haven't quite figured out how to get that exactly right this set should do really really well tied to a very popular movie franchise great minifigure t-rex breakout a hundred dollars for 1212 pieces this is a target exclusive and it is a really good set it is is a diorama basically of the original 1993 movie all exclusive minifigures and a great scene i personally like the brick built dinosaur i think that just adds to the legoification of the scene and the set i'm a big fan of that and if it retires at the end of this year it's going to have less than two years on the shelf should do very well in retirement the next christmas set 10308 the holiday main street not retiring at the end of this year got another mention and it's a really really good set hundred dollars for 1500 pieces next up is the nasa Mars Perseverance Rover Technic set coming out soon. Super cool set. Got another mention. 43212, the Disney Celebration Train. This set is $40 for 200 pieces, so pretty expensive. But being that it's a four plus set, actually not too bad. Six minifigures that are Disney standouts. Love those minifigures. I think five of the six are exclusive. We'll see how long this set's going to be on the shelves, but it has a lot of potential to do well in retirement. Same thing with this set, 43217, the Up House. Very popular set. Just have to see how long it's going to be on the shelves for. 60335 got a mention with an enthusiasm score of three this is by far one of the best train station sets lego has done in a long time it comes with four straight tracks which i know are hard to get so very popular for all of us but it's a hundred dollars and it is 907 pieces but it comes with the bus the utility vehicle that pulls the porta potty that can run on roads or on the track it comes with the track ramps of course the train station itself which looks really good a lot of nice detail and then it comes with some of the new roadway system pieces and the roadway crossing arms. I think it packs a pretty good punch and a lot of larger pieces in this set. I like this set a lot, but it is city, so we'll see how well it does. First time for this set, 71786, Zane's Ice Dragon Creature. Pretty good looking set. 75290, talked about this one a number of times in past videos. The Moss Isley Cantina, I love this set. 20 one minifigures almost half of them are unique a lot of unique elements the side builds the ships the detail huge fan of this set but very expensive at four hundred dollars seven five three four eight the mandalorian fang fighter versus tie interceptor just came out really good minifigures but the ships themselves are a hit or miss with some of the fans so we got to see where this one goes in terms of buzz now on to another helmet seven five three five one the princess leia bush helmet not my favorite at all got another mention with enthusiasm score of three i think the buzz is really good and it's really well designed but it's just kind of ugly to me so i'm not jumping on this one yet a star wars diorama set that just came out in the second wave of dioramas this is 75352 the emperor's throne room one mention with enthusiasm score three this set is fantastic we just got to get on sale we know the diorama sets are very expensive harry potter 76388 the hogsmeade village visit really really nice set i've built this one just very charming a lot of nice detail has the golden minifigure in it and the other minifigure 
figures are mostly exclusive. I'm a big fan of this set. 76389, the Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets. Not my favorite set. I'm not a big fan of the Harry Potter modular building type sets. I know that there are some images coming out where you can put them all together and build a huge Hogwarts wall and grounds and castle type arrangement that looks really nice, but still not, not my favorite. But some people are interested in this set because of the minifigures and because of the size and the price point's pretty good on it. 76406, the Hungarian Horntail Dragon, my favorite of the three that are like this. Really good set. Now the next bunch of sets have one mention with an enthusiasm score of two, so we'll go through them quickly. This is the Tulips. This is 40469, the Tuk Tuk. This is the Harry, Hermione, Ron, and Hagrid Brickhead set. Another Brickhead's 40553, Woody and Bo Peep. Really good looking set. I think it could do pretty well with the next animated Toy Story movie announced and coming out in the next couple of years. 75322, the Hoth ATST, not a set that I'm interested in for investment. 75324, the Dark Trooper Attack. A lot of people have been down on this set. It's very expensive at $35. We've been able to get it for around $25, but those three Dark Trooper minifigures look great. They're only in one other set, but also the hallway scene there really stands out in my opinion. I think this one could do okay, and because some people are poo-pooing, I think it could fly under the radar a little bit. The Death Star Trench Run diorama, my least favorite of the diorama sets, and then the Dagobah Jedi Training Diorama 75330. This set I'm a big, big fan. Two of the three minifigures are exclusive, but the whole swampy scene with the X-Wing coming out of the water there looks fantastic. So by far my favorite of the three diorama sets. 75334, Obi-Wan Kenobi versus Darth Vader. The four minifigures are outstanding. That's the total appeal of this set. However, how the fire opens up and comes up from the ruck structure just to make it look like when Vader's dragging the fire across the ground there is really well done in my opinion and if you can get this set on a steep discount maybe 30 35 dollars i think it could do okay in retirement 75344 boba fett starship microfighter another mention with enthusiasm score of two same thing with the iron man armory 76900 the cuniseg yesco not my favorite speed champion set 31208 the great wave this set is fantastic we don't know when it's going to retire but this set could be very very popular many many years over in retirement everyone is awesome i love the monochromatic mini figures and all of the different colored tile pieces. Very good set. 40517, the Vespa. Some people believe this $10 set's going to triple, quadruple in retirement. 40615, the Tuscan Raider. Really good looking brickhead set. 75308, R2D2. Not a set that I am going to be investing in. The new Batman 4 Plus set, 76264, that is not out yet. And this set looks very four plus ish who knows it's expensive at 27 dollars for 54 pieces all right and the rest of these sets in this video all got one mention with an enthusiasm score of one starting off with this creator three and one the surfer beach house the city set the gaming tournament truck pretty cool pretty unique it's a city set i don't think it will do well in retirement 75301 this x-wing not a set i'm interested in same thing with this one the current slave one set this set got a mention and some people are starting to say that we need to look at this set, especially if we can get it on sale because it is the only Ewok, which is Wicket in this set that is on the market right now and Lego doesn't make that many Ewoks in general. And uh, okay, I agree. If we can get this set for 10 or $15, then maybe it's worth it. But outside of that, I'm avoiding it. 75335 BD1, T-Rex, and this other dinosaur that I'm not gonna pronounce. And 76951, two dinosaurs that I'm not gonna pronounce. The Jazz Quartet Idea Set, 21334, Four, really good looking set not a lot of buzz around it and then this creator three and one three one one three seven the adorable dogs i want to take a moment on this set since the b model and c model actually are just more dogs that go very well with each other and the A model. It's possible that dog lovers would want three of these so they could build all seven dogs from this set. And I think this one is one to potentially keep an eye on. I'm not jumping up and down about it yet, but it's something to think about as it gets closer to retirement or when we even get a retirement date for it. Now, it's also possible that people say, I only like beagles and that's all I want and I don't want anything else, but I bet dog lovers would love to have all of these these dogs and therefore would like to have three of these sets. 31140, the Magical Unicorn. 76217, the I Am Groot set. Really cool set. And then lastly, 76402, 
Hogwarts Dumbledore's office. Really good set, just not getting a lot of buzz. If you can get it on a pretty good discount, I think it might do okay in retirement. All right, let's wrap up with my top three from this video. And third place is 40623, but this comes with a little asterisk. If it retires at the end of this year, then it's number three or maybe even number one. If it doesn't retire at the end of this year, it should still do well, but it's gonna fall down the list for me. And my number two place is 21325, the medieval blacksmith. About a three year shelf life for this fantastic idea set i think this is a huge winner and then my number one is 75336 the inquisitor transport scythe great set at a hundred dollars with those four minifigures i know the obi-wan kenobi miniseries wasn't that popular but these characters are very popular and they were awesome in this ship is very cool thank you for watching that's a wrap on this video and i will see you in the next one oh and don't forget my videos are for entertainment purposes only i do not provide financial advice you got to get that from somebody else